Okay, let's talk about trade discounts. Trade discounts occur between wholesale companies that have customers that buy a lot of their product. If it doesn't sell, if it doesn't move out of the store, they will discount it after a specific amount of time, like a week or a month, in order to help the retailer sell the products. So we're going to go ahead and use this example, 10 slash 8 slash 5. So the 10 is the t you get a 10% discount after a specific amount of time. Anything left over, product-wise, merchandise-wise, then they get another 8% after like a month or two, and then they get another 5% if they have anything left over. It's, it's, it's a deal between the wholesalers and the retailers to help them move the wholesaler product. Okay, so here's the example. Apple is selling a new tablet that costs $189.99. And they're offering a trade discount of 10 slash 8 slash 5. So the net price factor is calculated thusly. Okay, what you do is you subtract the first number from 100%. And then you're going to multiply it by 100% minus the second number. Multiply it again by 100% minus the third number. So it's going to look like this. And simply go ahead and multiply all those together and you get the net price factor. The net price factor can also be called other names depending on which book you look at. I've heard it called net cost equivalent, net cost factor, that kind of thing. But it's all, it's all basically the same thing no matter what you call it. So this is the net price factor. Okay. And to calculate the single equivalent discount, you simply subtract your net price factor from 1. And that gives you your single equivalent discount. So in other words, instead of this 10 slash 8 slash 5, if enough time passes by, they're going to get a, like a 21.34% discount at the end of this. Okay, and to calculate your their actual net price after all the trade discounts have been applied, you simply take the net price factor and then multiply it by the, the, the selling price. This is the selling price from the original problem. We're going to multiply it by the net price factor and so the new the new price after applying all these trade discounts would be 149.45 and we round it up okay so don't forget to round properly that's it hope it helps math guy zero out